Good morning, Britannia, and hello to the rest of the world. Welcome to 2C TV and another episode of the Morning Brief, which comes to you guys every day at 11 a.m. UK time with the latest news headlines and top stories of the day that you might have missed over the last few hours. Let's go through the headlines this morning. Uh, we have uh, the Labour Jewish groups who are completely freaking out about this new socialist government that they themselves voted for. This is the Labour Friends of Israel members who are now making a move against Starmer. I don't know why they're surprised. And we're going to talk, <laughs> we're going to talk about Emmanuel Macron and his potential impeachment as well. And the UK winter fuel crisis as this socialist government continues to make a move against pensioners in the United Kingdom. And of course, as you guys know, Brazil have uh, declared war on Elon Musk and his X platform uh, following the initial announcement to ban it. They have confirmed that the ban will remain and the latest update on the UK stabbings. Let's start with the first headline and uh, let's talk about uh, the Labour Jews condemning Starmer because of uh, yesterday's announcement that uh, the UK government will be suspending the arms sales and trade with their own ally, which is Israel. They made a statement saying, since the 7th of October, Israel has come under a repeated, unprovoked and indiscriminate attack by Iran and its proxies, Hamas, Hezbollah and Houthis. We do not believe that restrictions on UK arms sales will help bring this tragic conflict in Gaza to a close or help ensure the release of the hostages, six of whom Hamas brutally murdered just days ago. Moreover, we are deeply concerned by the signal this sends to Iran, the world's leading sponsor of state terrorism and Vladimir Putin's closest ally in Ukraine. We fear, therefore, that these restrictions risk encouraging Israel's enemies, leading to greater escalation rather than de-escalation. Again, the fascinating part to mention is that these are the same members who did who proactively voted for the Labour Party and Keir Starmer because they are part of the Labour Party and they knew, they should have known because Keir Starmer, David Lammy, Angela Rayner, all of them said it before the election. Moving on, uh, we're going to France and the European Union. Um, there are, again, discussions about uh, impeachment of Emmanuel Macron as the French uh, president, of course, following the recent parliamentary elections. Uh, the far left uh, managed to create a coalition in order to stop uh, the patriots and nationalists of uh, Marine Le Pen uh, from winning. Now, the far left MPs are angry because Emmanuel Macron has been blocking their appointment of new prime minister. What they want to do is now make a move to impeach Macron, which would be a little bit of a backfire because it will make, make it more likely for Marine Le Pen to become the next president. <laughs> so they're going to get rid of Macron. They have to deal with Marine Le Pen. So that's also a fascinating part. Now, many constitutional experts, however, argue that the Fifth Republic's 1958 founding document, written on the assumption that the electoral system would produce a clear majority, is, is vague on the correct course of action in a home parliament. So we'll find out how they're going to go around this. Coming back to the UK quickly, Keir Starmer's war on pensioners. Now, during the election, he made promises to protect pensioners, especially when it comes to what's going to happen in the winter with the high energy bills. And he said he's going to protect the pensions, but apparently he might not. And taxes, he's not. But winter fuel payments, the cut to the winter fuel payments, which will be obviously helping a lot of people, especially in the north of England, will be cut and would be defended every single day for the next few weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to make a U-turn or whether they will even make a U-turn because we are kind of used to getting U-turns from the, the Tories in power, but maybe this government has more conviction, but for the wrong reasons. Pensions could also now get hit next, according to the insiders in the Whitehall and Westminster, uh, despite promises that they won't. Now, critics are saying that uh, the government come out to say the reason they're defending this thing, 1.6 billion pounds, we can't, we can't really cover it. It's too much. It will crash the economy. 1.6 billion pounds to cover their winter fuel payments. They can't. But the critics say, well, we've, we're sending 3 billion pounds to Ukraine, 11.6 billion pounds to African climate aid, 
8.6 billion pounds on energy, uh, GB Energy, that's a nationalized uh, industry, 10 billion pounds on public sector wage hikes, 100 million pounds on train drivers uh, wage hikes, totaling 33 billion pounds. But 1.6 billion can't be covered, it will crash the economy. That's what a lot of people are saying. Now, <clears throat> speaking of socialists, uh, go moving to Brazil, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Brazil made an announcement um, a couple of weeks ago that they would ban X, uh, formerly known as uh, Twitter. The government decided to go a little bit tyrannical as usual. Elon Musk said, I'm going to find a way to give you guys uh, my own satellite and VPN so you could access it. But the Brazilian Supreme Court have come out to uphold the ban and imposes fines on Elon Musk if he wants to operate in Brazil. A specialist panel of Brazilian uh, Supreme Court have upheld uh, Justice uh, Moraes, uh, the decision, the Moraes' decision to ban X in Brazil to impose a daily fine of $10,000 on those using VPNs to access the platform. Three out of five judges on the panel supported this ban. Now, good luck finding those who are using VPNs because uh, a lot of people, including in other BRICS countries, authoritarian countries, of course, Brazil is also BRICS, uh, Iran is the same thing. A lot of people in BRICS countries have already found a way to go and discover freedom. So they use one VPN to access the second VPN to go through the main network. Basically, you won't be able to find out where they are accessing it from. Now, Justice uh, Flavio Dino says a party that deliberately def uh, defies court orders seems to believe it is above the law, which risks turning it into an outlaw. Yeah, Brazil is drunk and needs to go home. And finally, the latest update on UK stabbings. Uh, a few days ago, we reported on another attack in Oldbury. Two teenage boys have now been charged with murder over the fatal stabbing of a 13-year-old in Oldbury. Uh, they have not uh, they obviously released the description or the name or identity of these individuals because they are teenagers. A man in his 40s who uh, was also arrested on Monday yesterday has been charged with assisting one of the offenders. The West Midlands police have come out to say we have been carrying out CCTV inquiries in the area but also need to hear <clears throat> from anyone with dash cam, doorbell, CCTV or phone footage that might help the investigation. Ladies and gentlemen, this was your latest uh, headlines from this morning's brief, which comes to you guys every day at 11 a.m. We also have the 2C at 10, our the evening debrief, which comes at 10 p.m. UK time every day. And throughout the day, we continue our breaking news live streams as usual. I'm Maya 2C. And we are the media.